Concord 002 at Fairford this morning as technicians prepared for the Duke of Edinburgh's prestige flight in the prototype aircraft as the sales drive for the £12 million plane builds momentum. The Duke was escorted onto Concord by the British Aircraft Corporation's chief test pilot, Brian Trubshaw. Already, 002 has made more than 150 flights. But as it taxied before takeoff and ahead of schedule came the first of the morning's problems. A puff of smoke from one of the undercarriage sections of four tyres. A few seconds later, and again, another puff of smoke. With more warning lights showing in the cockpit, Brian Trubshaw brought the aircraft back to the apron. After one more taxiing run, the engines were shut down and Prince Philip left the aircraft. It was then announced that if the fault could be repaired and a runway crosswind didn't get much fiercer, the flight would take place in the afternoon. Fault stemmed from an electrical failure in the anti-skid unit that caused a wheel to lock. A new wheel unit was put on. After lunch, there were no gremlins, and the Duke took off without a hitch for a flight over the regular VIP run, the Bay of Biscay. The crosswinds didn't get worse, and Concorde was able to come back to Fairford. Tomorrow it will be carrying BOEC's chairman on a similar demonstration flight. But today, what did the Duke think, both as a pilot and a passenger, of Concorde? Well, you see, I think the, the, <clears throat> the thing about all planes, the whole essence of a man, or, or the constructors, the makers, the designers, is to make an aeroplane which is pleasant to fly and pleasant to fly in. So that the, the achievement, the, the complication, isn't apparent to you when you're either sitting in it or flying it. The, the, you know, all the genius is, is in little boxes and in the, in the design of the thing. If it hadn't been well designed, then one probably would have noticed something wrong. It would have done something odd. And it doesn't do anything odd. It flies just like an airplane. Which shows, I think, that it's been, you know, that it's a successful solution to the problem. As somebody who's keen on conservation, what do you think of the level of noise and smoke? I was inside and I wasn't smoking. <laughs> 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 um, 